How's everybody doing? You guys got goo on your lens? No, you're good, aren't you? Good. Yeah. How's everybody? Hey, doing good? It's glorious out. But you can feel, you can feel that um, there seems to be like a, uh, a um, coolness in the air now, right? Like it's, it, it, it does. It feels like there's a little bit of a coolness in the air. Uh, it's not scorching hot, but it is, uh, it is warm. It is warm. Wow. Steel bar got heavy. Got hot, I mean. Okay, what's going on here? I think we're going to go cut some trees down at our down in the fern gully. Now, whether we're in the fern gully or not, I don't think we are. I think we're out back. They're setting up a little archery thing for their kids in that. Really cool. Really cool. Neat to have stuff like that. Little hatchet, you know, archery and hatchet throwing and axe throwing. That's cool stuff for kids. It just is. Some people may think it's dangerous. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, sure, but what are you going to shelter your, shelter yourself? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I think it all depends on where you come from. Right, friends? I mean, it does. It really does. Now, morning, son. We're bringing one set of climbing gear, you say? Yeah, bring one set because I, I think it's falling, but we might need to do something tricky. Let's have a look here. I think, I think there might be, I think I oiled this up yesterday, friends. So we're just... I want to bring this old Mac out. I, ha I haven't run this old Mac in a while, this 850. I love my 850s. And uh, I want to run it today. Where's the big strap? Oh, there it is. There's the strap. <sighs> Yeah, got your weaver. <laughs> I think our weaver stuff's coming tomorrow. I talked to Sammy yesterday, or today. Wow, that sure spills the oil out. Yeah, so we'll give this a give this saw a run here today. Let's see, what are you gonna bring, Sonny? What are you gonna run? It's not very big trees, is it? Uh not really, no. no. I'll tell you what, that uh, that organ chain is sure nice, boy. I think I'll just run my 65. That's what I was thinking. I'll need a 32 okay. for the day. Sign. <laughs> Well, Sonny, let's uh, 
It's a McCulloch day. Grab your power saw there. And so friends, we're back at the Fern Gully. Okay. And, and what they're doing is they're, they're setting up a, an archery, a place to do archery, which is so cool. And it's right off their house here. See this, they come up, there's the house and they just come walking out their back door, boom, or front door, bang. And here it is, boom. They've got five acres here and it is just, it's a beautiful spot. Hey, isn't it, son? Yeah. It, it just really, really is a nice spot here. But we've got a situation where we got wind blowing. We got a couple of crazy trees, to be honest with you. Um, it's it's a little bit tricky in the in the in the sense that we've got snags mixed in with green timber and a tight crown, like like really tight crown. And you'll notice the maples are swaying and swinging around. So we do have wind, and whenever you've got tall timber with just crown it'll wreak havoc on the stump. It'll, it, it throws crazy pressures down on the stump and fast. So it's not like a big tree with bones on it from like 30 feet to 100 feet. It's different, they whip around. And these do this. This little fur's gotta go. So we gotta make a plan about how we're gonna extinguish this stuff. Um, we gotta open up a hole. So here's our first, well it won't be our, yeah, I think we're gonna, this thing's pretty bad. Look at this thing, friends. It's really bad, but it's kinda, Sonny, I think we need to uh, run this stuff out that way, actually, against its lean. Are we gonna hit the neighbors? Oh, no. No, right up there in that hole. See that hole right beside, it's just gonna sweep by that maple crown. Kind of right up in there. We won't hit the neighbors. I'm just looking at our, our avenues because there's another avenue right here. I was down this way yeah okay well we can do that Towards too that kind of nature pole there yeah but that maple would take a kick in yeah. which is fine it's i guess ideal. it's not the greatest it would almost be nice to leave that but either way because because here's a this maple's going right and it it's going in there so and then this snag and i'm thinking this fur could all go up there sonny yeah. And then this thing, we just have to figure it out. If once there's a spot for it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking, do we need to use this fur in order to get it out is my question. Probably not. This one. Oh, okay. It's going too. I'm wondering if we need to use it. You see? So, because look, look at this thing. It's kind of, it's weird to be honest with you. It is weird. Yeah. And... I, it, it's not going up there, son. It's it's not going. If we had to, we could take a maple there. I think it would go up there, but yeah, it's too tight. Well, it would, but but, but look at yeah, son. It's, no, it's it won't. Look at. If I shoot it right for the the biggest yeah. part of the gap, we might be good. You hear that squeaking over there? Hey. Hear that creaking over there? Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. I wonder what that is. It's going pretty good. All right, are you guys on? Yeah, you are, good. So let's see what this old mat can do today. Timber's not big. Always nice to stay on the high side of the stump. You can see what we got, but this thing's rocking and rolling. Property line up there. Uh, it may get hung, but I'm not worried. Let's fire up.
that's going. This thing's coming out. Oh, that maple. Oh, that that maple. Can't see. Okay, here's the plan. It's kind of goofy, but it's going to work. This stuff's leaning. The house is right here, friends. Like it's right there. Okay, this stuff's tall. So we're trying to do less damage as possible. Okay. Now, as you'll notice, we got wind and stuff. So, and they're tall, like I explained earlier. But this thing here is heavy crown back. I don't want it trying to go through there to the sun. It's just too much nice stuff in there. But our hole is down there towards the target. So I'm going to cut that thing up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to coerce it with this maple. So we're going to cut that fur up. I'm going to leave the snag. I'll get the snag on its own. I'm going to cut up, cut, cut that fur up. Then I'm going to come up the hillside here and I'm going to grab this maple. And as you see, the maple's leaning, but it's kind of leaning down the hill. So it's going to coerce the fur. It's going to start to sweep the canopy of the fur. And I'm literally going to cut this off the stump and it's going to roll in down by that, that maple snag. You got me, Sonny? That's the plan. So we're actually going to kind of hit like this, friends. Watch my hands. The maple's going to come like this. It's going to hit and, and get it to push it up into here. Quite a ways, actually. That's my plan. And you can see what I've, where the maple's got to go. It's actually got to come around the corner. The balsam being the corner. And that tree actually, isn't that tree getting cut down? That balsam? Yeah. yeah. It is getting cut down. A fir in front of it? Right. Oh, it is. Well, I'll be darned. Okay, well, that actually, uh, that actually changes things a bit. I think I'll take that too. Up into there. Yes, indeed, I will. Oh, now I got a plan. Now we're talking, buddy. Yeah. So this is all getting cut up and it's all going to get slammed up there. Bring that camera and check into me, Sonny, please. Turn it on. This makes sense. I forgot about that maple's going.
What's up, buddy? There's something about the axe. Yeah, it's right there, I think. Thanks, buddy.
Are we bucking it into firewood? I don't know. I don't... Are we doing any bucking for you? <laughs> so you can get get the the logs off the way in that, or do you want us to buck the logs in the middle? Maybe yeah. Okay. That came out. Yeah. Do you want to get that maple before we buck her? Oh yeah, we'll get it all. I'll get this snag now. Will that come out nice? Yeah. And another nice thing is, is the lay of the timber, son. See the lay? It's all there. All one direction, all butt. So if we were logging, a hole would just come in and scoop. Did we have a a, a wedge somewhere, boy? Yeah, in that, uh, in the balsam. I thought I, oh, I threw one up to, no. Okay. Nope. Oh, yeah. oh, did it go? Where was there a stump? Oh, yes, that's right. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So, uh, the snag now. Yeah. Maybe fire us up and come on down this way. We got them vehicles there a little. So what we do in a case like this, in a setting like this when there's little kids, is Hogan's gonna run out now and he's gonna he's gonna dress up that log, serv service that thing. All three sides, no little poker jaggers out, the kids will be all over it. All the hinge hood, everything cut flush, because the kids are gonna be running around out here. They don't want no booby trap. And those little you cut your limbs, you don't cut your limbs flush. Not good. They'll hurt. A little kid down there or not? Hurts a grown man, never mind a kid. Talk to you in a minute. Drums, Mikey Yo-Yos. 